What's going on, everybody? Drones and Dogs here, and we're back. Number 406 on the subscriber count. Shout out to all the subscribers out there that's rocking with your boy. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all really pushed that number up. Got it to over 400 by Christmas time, as I hoped. I didn't even think it would hit 400 be before Christmas, but it hit it right on Christmas Eve. Appreciate you guys. So we're over 400 now. Channel is rising. We're constantly progressing. We're getting up there. Appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. And uh, look what came in today. Straight off the uh, Amazon boat. This little guy right here. I'm kind of excited to get this one in. I've been really wanting this one. So this was kind of like, basically like a little early Christmas gift to myself. I like this one. This is the Flying Man. This is the Tom Zahn U48-B. You can see it right there. The Flying Man. You know, a little superhero looking, flying looking dude. Drone. Has altitude hold. He heading hold mode, which is basically headless mode. And one button takeoff. One button takeoff multiplayer. I don't know what that means. But basically, one key to take off and one key to land. That cool stuff like that. Also has the other model that you can get, which is the flying motorcycle guy. I think that looks pretty cool as well. This is the one I want. Seen this on a couple channels, so I've been wanting to get this and check this guy out. So, we're going to do a quick unboxing. Then I'll get this guy charged up. And we'll head out and do a quick flight. Now, it says this is an indoor indoor flyer, but we'll see what it could do outdoors. And if it doesn't do well outdoors, then we'll come indoors and fly it. See if it behaves better that way. Has the picture of the transmitter on the side. Has a picture of two different of the two different versions you can get. It has the one checked off that you have. This is the one I wanted. So hopefully it should be the right model inside. So this is made by Tomzine, man. Tomzine. It's so pretty nice. Has the features on the side. It says Alpha 2 hole multiplayer. I don't know what multiplayer means. But low battery alarm. High low speed. So it has dual rates. Heading hole mode, which is basically headless mode. And one button takeoff and one button landing. Should look pretty cool. So, like I said, shout out to the subscribers out there, man, for pushing that number up. Appreciate you guys. Let's unbox this dude. See what it's about. The Flying Man. Oh, snap. So right away, first thing you get is the little guy. Packaged in this little, little cardboard box thing here. Like has some little rubber band things around it. I don't know if I can get these off. Babe, can you bring me some scissors? Yeah. Have to call on my my wife with some scissors. Here you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So yeah, we're gonna have to cut these little rubber little ties off. That's all in my way. Bam, got one. <clears throat> Apologize guys for taking so long. I didn't think it was gonna be this much of a this much of a struggle or a hassle. Really got it in there, don't they? All right, <laughs> got them out. Sorry that took so long, <laughs> but here it goes. The flying man, little motorcycle guy, seems he's attached to this little drone backpack looking thing. It says Tom's on on the back. Looks pretty cool, man. Does have four motors 
or blades on it. Doesn't look like it, but they're right on top of each other. See, it has two on top and then two underneath. And, and I guess having a guy on the surface, it whoops, what helps you take off, it gives you enough clearance underneath these props without you hitting the ground. I've seen people fly without the guy on there, but it's like really odd on how you have to take off and land without having enough clearance for this guy to just take off, you know what I'm saying? But I think it looks pretty sleek, pretty cool. Looks like we got a micro USB port in the back. That's going to be our little charger and an on and off switch. You guys can see that. Little micro USB port and an on and off switch right there. So I don't know how long it's going to take to charge this guy, but we'll find out. A little caution card. Instruction manual. Some other type of little warnings. So this should go over the quadcopter and everything. Pretty basic stuff, man. Looks to be pretty well detailed. Looks like you're going to need three AAA batteries for the transmitter. Shows you how to charge it. All that good stuff. Some type of guarantee, extended warranty. I got this guy packaged really well. <laughs> If I can come at it from the bottom, maybe. So here's our transmitter, I'm guessing. That was very, very, very tightly packed in there. All right, the goodie bag on top. Little USB, micro USB charger. The USB connection. Looks like we got some extra props in there, four extra props. No screwdriver or nothing, so it's just a USB charger and a four extra props. I'm guessing the props just pop right on, on and off, if you should happen to lose one. Get this transmitter out the box. Yep. Three triple A's. What you gonna need for this guy? Doesn't feel too bad. On and off switch. Automatic takeoff, automatic land. I don't know what these two buttons are. Has two little lightning bolts on them. High level rates. Headless mode. Out to two hope. Feels pretty good. So this is the Flying Man official unboxing. We'll get the review underway. We'll come back. I'll get this guy charged up. Hopefully you should see this little dude uh, in the air. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Get that number up. When we come back, we'll have this little guy in the air. All right, guys. Here we are. I'm with the Tomzon U48-B. The Flying Man, the little superhero drone with the little jetpack on his back, looking real cool. So we're ready for this little outdoor flight here on this Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope you guys have a nice holiday and enjoy your holiday. So 
So we're gonna go ahead and just fly this little guy. If you end up getting one of these under your tree, I think it'll be pretty cool. But uh, here's the on and off switch on the back and the charging port like I showed you on the table review. Let's go over the transmitter really quickly. I did get to briefly look at the instructions. Set this guy down. I did get to look at the instructions of the transmitter. I didn't know what these two lightning bolt things were, but these are actually two little demo buttons is what the uh, directions said. This says demo button one and uh, demo mode two. So I guess it does two little different little cool little tricks or whatever. This is your one key takeoff and one uh, one key takeoff and one key land. I was right about that on and off switch. Doesn't have any flips or nothing. This is your high and low rates. Actually has three speeds. It said in the tr uh, directions, high, medium, and low rates. And then this little button right here will be your headless mode. Other than that, you got you got throttle stick and you got pitch and roll. So pretty simple little guy. Should be easy to fly. This is the Tomzon U48-B. Go ahead and turn this guy on. Like this little super. Hopefully it flies well. I think it looks really cool. Out of all the drones I have, I don't have nothing that looks pretty as cool as this. So I turned the drone on. Turn the transmitter on. Do it up, down, bind to the transmitter. I heard a beep and a little red light that was flashing on the backpack went solid. I don't know if you guys can see that. So should we, we should be able to just hit this one button to take off. And we got flight. So this is our first rate. Look at that. I will say it looks pretty cool, man. It does look like a little flying little hero, don't it, though? Look at that. So this is our first rate flying around. There's our yaw rate in the first rate. Look at that. There's our yaw rate, first rate. Full forward, turning around. Ooh, it turns around really quickly. Full forward this way, full pitch. Full pitch this way. All right. I'm going to go into a higher speed, higher rate. Go to medium. Two beeps. So this is our medium rate. <laughs> Little flying man. Look at that. There's our yacht rate. A lot quicker in his medium rate. Really fast in the medium rate. All right. They say this is an indoor. Ooh, look at the wind. Took a little bit. They say it is an indoor flyer, but as you can see. When it's not too much wind, you can't fly this guy outdoors. It got really twitchy on that turn. I'm going to walk it out, get towards the street, get a more open area, get away from these trees. But we're still in a medium rate. I'm going to hit that first demo button on top. I'm going to see what that does. It does like a little pirouette, like a little cyclone is what it does. Let me bring it back over here. Let me get into the high rate. Three beeps. So now I'm in the high rate. Which is be as fast as it go. It's flying into the wind now. The wind is kind of blowing from behind me. So it's flying into the wind right now. And this is in highest rate, so it's having a little bit of trouble flying into the wind. It gets really twitchy when it's trying to bank some turns when the wind hits it. Gotta be kind of gentle when you turn this guy. So like I'm flying into the wind now. But I hit that first demo button and it did like a little, like a little pirouette or a little like cyclone type of deal. And the wind is really pushing on it now, so I don't really want to hit the second demo button because I don't want it to take off on me. I'm trying to wait for the wind to die down. All right, now I'll hit the second one. All it, it just kind of just turned the guy around. It just basically did like a little 180 spin is what it basically did. Let's see if I can do that again second demo button and then it just turns them around so yeah it did like a little 180 type of deal let's try this first demo button again you bring it over here and then it spins it and then to get out of it to get out of it oh it just it stops on its own so it, do, it does like a little couple spins and then it stops that's pretty cool especially if you, if you got this for a kid if a kid got this for Christmas, I think they will have fun with this. Be careful when you're turning it into the wind. It gets really twitchy. Turn it really slow. Like that. Like I 
said, doesn't have any flips or anything like that. The flying man, this is pretty cool. I like this. Still in the highest rate, I believe. Starting to get a little sluggish. So maybe that battery is getting low. When I'm flying this way, I'm flying into the wind. When I turn it around this way, I'm flying with the wind. It goes a lot flat, a lot faster. Excuse me. Can't deny it looks cool though with that little the little guy on top. Little superhero looking guy flying with the jetpack on. It's flying, man. <laughs> I like it. I think it's dope. Flying into the wind. Pull forward into the wind. So it might be getting a little sluggish. Only took about 30 minutes to charge it though. So it wasn't too bad. It's getting a pretty decent flight time. Ooh, wind almost took it there. Bring it in for a close look if I can. Check him out. Check out Flying Man. <laughs> Fly, this little thing is flying really good though. I will give it that. The breeze did kick up once I came out here. So I say it's about a five, six mile power breeze constant breeze too and it's, this little thing is flying really well pretty decent flight time on it too for just a little micro thing you gotta be careful when you're turning it into that wind sometimes that wind will want to catch it because it's dying down now that's all it by itself so that's our battery, our flight with this guy. I thought it was pretty good. This is the Tomzon U48-B, the flying man, the superhero with the little jetpack on his back. I'm your boy, Drones and Dogs. Appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Shout out to all my subscribers. I'll catch you guys in the next one, guys.